Hello friends, welcome to the lecture introduction to knife fight. So in this lecture what we are going to do is, we are going to understand what is knife fight. Okay, so before understanding knife fight, okay, let's understand what is data flow. Because uh, uh, knife is a flow based, uh, it uses the flow based approach. Okay, knife fight. So we'll understand what is data flow. Basically, data flow refers to moving of data from one source to another source, basically from source to destination, right? So, uh, data can be of any format. So, you know, right? So, in the modern digital world, uh, so we are living in the uh, data world. So, data can be any format. So, it can be a flat file, okay? So, either CSV, JSON, or XML file format, or it can be a data uh, which is generated from any REST APIs using HTTP uh, protocol. Or it can be uh, uh, images, video. It can be also uh, data coming from uh, uh, sensor uh, sensors, uh, which is part of uh, IoT devices, right? So these are the data. So when when the data is moving from one source to the destination or one store to other source, uh, this become a data flow. So uh, what is data pipeline, right? The data pipeline is not just like moving data one source from uh, from source to the destination. So we also want to do the transformation, right? So, uh, so because uh, we just we don't want to just uh, 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 just uh, uh, take data from one source and pump into the other source or destination, right? We want to do some kind of transformation so that uh, uh, you want you want to change the data from one format to another format. So there will be a, a, a transformation which takes place in between. So this type of uh, 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 flow we call it as data pipeline. Okay. So uh, to build the data pipelines, actually we want to use uh, uh, NIFI. Okay, so before we, we get into the uh, NIFI uh, in detail, uh, let's understand what is CTL because CTL has been uh, uh, there from long, uh, long time. So we'll understand what is ETL. So ETL refers to uh, extract, transform, load. Okay, so it moves actually data, uh, uh, data from uh, one uh, movement of data from one source to other source. We including transformation, right? Including transformation. So, uh, so basically, uh, what is the difference between a ETL and data pipeline? So basically, a, a ETL actually works in batch uh, fashion. So basically, every uh, if you look at the uh, uh, when people building the data warehousing uh, solutions, so the, what they do is they take data from operational databases, okay, and pump into the data warehouse. Okay, so they do uh, some kind of transformation. But it happens mostly in the nightly jobs. So there will be a, a ideal job which will be uh, triggered every uh, night uh, uh, 12 p.m. Sorry, 12 a.m. Or it can be uh, uh, early morning jobs also like uh, 4 p.m. Sorry, 4 a.m. or uh, 3 a.m., 2 a.m. Whatever the mostly it will be a batch fashion. It will be working in batch fashion. Uh, in data pipeline, so basically it supports both batch fashion of uh, 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 data flow as well as the... Uh, uh, data flow from uh, one place to another place with the transformation and also it works with uh, uh, stream fashion also so as soon as the data comes the data will be uh, uh, taken and it will be transformed into some form and it will be stored in the destination so that type of uh, 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 solution we may use uh, we may use the uh, data pipelines okay so uh, before uh, we build the data pipeline okay what what are what are the things we need to consider because uh, 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 it's like uh, down the uh, before last uh, uh, 10 to 20 years back all the data are uh, very uh, minimal so uh, handling data in terms of uh, uh, gigabytes and megabytes only we were handling but nowadays we are uh, handling uh, data in terabyte petabytes and exabytes right so data has grown so how do you how do you handle the uh, data when you build the data pipeline so before you build any data pipeline, so you need to understand uh, or in, you need to consider uh, uh, so uh, how the data is actually, uh, uh, how the data is uh, uh, in nature, how the data is in nature. So basically when you want to understand the data, so you need to consider four uh, uh, points, uh, uh, four characteristics of big data. So when, when you want to say you want to actually build the pipeline for the big data, so you need to consider these four uh, uh, they call it as four V's. Okay, so volume, volume refers to the vast amount of data uh, generated by every seconds or millisecond. And the second V refers to the velocity, which refers to speed at which the data is getting generated. And the variety, you know, it's what type of uh, uh, file formats or the data formats you are going to uh, use it. So that refers to variety. 
and veracity refers to the uh, uh, um, uh, integrity of the data or the messiness of the data uh, when you when you handle it okay so these are the uh, four we need to consider and uh, uh, so so when you build the uh, um, uh, when you build the uh, the ETL pipeline so you need to uh, say that whether uh, you need to uh, ask yourself question whether this data pipeline can handle the different types of data different formats of data so is the data pipeline actually having a, a connector for different sources of data like uh, http source uh, how to handle the rdbms data sources uh, and uh, uh, not only some source side once you uh, take the data from the source like rdbms system how do you transform it and uh, when you if the target is again uh, data data store like uh, uh, no sql or data, uh, rdbms so how do you store it so these are the things you need to consider before you build the data pipeline and uh, <clears throat> so scalable there is there is a there is a major thing you need to consider how do you how, do, how the the solution will scale so when you when you see large amount of data how the solution will scale so and also you should consider data cleaning and data validation logics so uh, so all this uh, you need to consider when you build the data uh, pipeline so uh, think of uh, you have a, a solution right so if you already have a uh, so before uh, or instead of building your own uh, uh, data pipelines with all this uh, consideration which we saw in the uh, previous slide say example there is a framework okay there is a framework using that you can build the data pipeline which which actually take care of all the uh, uh, data formats and all the data sources and the data targets which you want to connect and uh, uh, do the, all the transformation right so if it's already uh, framework is available why not we use so that's framework is apache nifi so it is a data ingestion tool it's a uh, it's a data ingestion tool as well as the uh, you can say kind of uh, etl framework which actually provides a lot of features so uh, uh, the nifi uh, definition says uh, uh, nifi is uh, uh, easy to use uh, powerful and a reliable system to process and distribute data so this is the definition of nifi and apache nifi supports powerful scalable directed graph of uh, uh, graphs of uh, data routing transformation and system mediation logic so if you want to say in simple terms so, so apache nifi is a tool built to automate the flow of data between systems and it can propagate uh, 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 any source uh, uh, data from any source to uh, uh, another uh, any, any source to the edge destination so uh, that's what you can in a short term you can say about nifi okay so we'll we'll see uh, 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 different uh, uh, concepts in nifi so and how do you build the data pipeline using nifi and we'll we'll see in the coming up uh, videos uh, i hope uh, i gave you a quick introduction about nifi um, um, please uh, if you have any queries post on the q and a section of the uh, course i am happy to help you see you in the next video friends thank you